Welcome. The Gamer Man's Lounge. Awaken to play. Hopefully things are going well for you guys. As for me, welcome to Columns. It's got a no score run today, but it's uh, call it a training art, but it's just going to be me chilling out and playing some Columns. And of course, um, quality burp in 3, 2, 1. Uh. Eh, could have been better. It is what it is. But anyway, uh, arcade. Hit up on easy and hit this. Okay. Yeah, I already hit the start button. I don't need to hit the start button. That just pauses the game. What am I even talking about? Anyway, let's get right on going and try to solve some lovely chain reaction puzzles that I create by my own hand. It's a marathon puzzle. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Um, I, all right. I need to get a hold of. Yep, we got it. See, we did it. Oh, dope. Pretty dope. Oh my goodness. You know what? I wish I had golden moments. Oh, man. There were moments that, like... Yeah, I don't want to go into detail anymore. I'll just switch on over to another topic. But we still have to talk... We still have to keep on talking. Because we can't just shut the fuck up if it's going to be like a goddamn Let's Play. The air's the thing. All right. Ooh, that's the problem. We could do that and that. Let's see what that does. Guess we'll catch on that, catch on that, and then catch on that. And then I'll go ahead and talk about something. At least talk about something. Okay. Um, hmm, what can we talk about? Ooh, what's gonna be, what's gonna be new? Something new and interesting going on. Let me think of something. Hold on for a minute, let me get that. Get that on that going. <laughs> get that on that going. What the hell? Um, okay, well, let's talk about times where you know back in the good old days when i was a kid i was like okay match three clear out but i never get this inventive to the point to where i would like make chain combos from left and right and when it came to like robotnik's mean bean machine it was gonna basically come and bite me in the ass eventually and there's the thing now, Puyo Puyo taught me that I gotta do chain combos, and in a bizarre twist of events... <laughs> here's where the shenanigans comes in, here's where the comedy kicks in. Um... Oh, here we go, we got, uh... We got, we're getting better, we're just getting really better. So we keep going, and going... And going. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Let's do it. So, yeah. Now, when I was playing Puyo Puyo, and then I went back to Columns, I was like, wait a minute. Okay. So, it is what it is. That was when I was like, okay, time to do chain combos. I gotta have to also do chain combos too. In order to rack up my score. And I'm pretty much sure it was gonna be the case when it comes to like later columns games, like say uh, columns three or stack columns. Something like that. So it's like, I have to thank Puyo Puyo for teaching me the ideas about chain combos and chain reactions. And I started carrying over that fucking chain combo idea 
over to Magical Drop. Now, Magical Drop gets you reacting very quickly. That's the thing. So it's not just chain combo, so you have to act fast. And that's kind of something. Alright, here we go. Ooh. You wanna know? Uh, here's an idea for people. Now, the guys over at At Games, uh, credit where credit's due, they managed to get a hold of the classic Soldom. The very classic Soldom. The Soldom that came before the... That came before the, uh... Where was it? The Nintendo Switch Revival Soldam, and then it got multi-platform. Started getting ported all over to PlayStation or something. I want to see Hamster Evercade get on that. Soldam Classic. Like, the classic arcade Soldam. And here I fucked up. Because I lost track of what I was trying to say. Because I lost track of what I was trying to say. Created a Jenga effect on my ass. It is what it is. But yeah, Evercade. Uh, Hamster. Alright. Like, the Nintendo Switch remake of Soldam. We had that. But I want to see the very classic arcade version of Soldam. I want to see the classic arcade version of Soldom. And the only person that has did that is the guys over at At Games. Over in their little arcade thingy. Their arcade legends thing. But the problem here is that... You know, At Games and At Games doesn't... At Games tend to make a little oopsie. Or they don't have a not so good track record but my question here is did they improve that's kind of like the situation here it's like uh, well it's a mystery it is what it is so whatever but let's just get right on going and going Ooh, perfect. Oh, hey, I, that works too. Ah, oh, man. You know what? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say we. I I was gonna say Evercade should do since. I mean, here's the thing. Evercade's capable of, like, running PS1 games. We could tell that in some of their collections. However, the problem here is that would Konami be stingy about it? And I was gonna say Dance Dance Revolution and then Evercade would release a dance pad. However, it's a Konami and Konami might get stingy about it. I want to see Arcade 1-Up do, like, a DDR dance machine. That'd be freaking dope. But then again, uh, Konami IP. I don't know what to tell you. Oh my goodness. Fucking Konami pissed a lot of people off. Like, Silent Hill. Hey, there's a new... Hey, there's something new happening to Silent Hill? Nope, it's skateboards. Well, not everybody goes skateboarding. For crying out loud. Are you kidding me? And then, like, everybody was just fucking let down. It's like, okay, yeah, not everybody skateboards, Konami. And I'm pretty sure that's not what people wanted when it came to Silent Hill. It's like, my goodness. It's like the Castlevania and NFT stuff. I'm like, for crying out loud, it is what it is, man. But yeah, um, it's 
It is what it is. <laughs> it, it's just like... Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's turn everything into pachinko machines. Why is it that Konami thinks that it was a good idea to just... I mean, Jubeat makes sense, Sound Voltex, but why Dance Dance Revolution on iPhones? That would just... It doesn't make any fucking sense. And now that we're on the topic of Dance Dance Revolution and Konami's bad decisions, like, who the hell thought it was a good idea to add Lady Antebellum's Need You Now to a DDR song list? How? How in fuck's name did anybody thought up, could anybody thought up of this idea? Makes no fucking sense. Alright. Okay, here's the thing. Groove Coaster? Okay, there's something. Taiko no Tachijin? Okay. But Dance Dance Revolution, a rhythm game that's centered around dance pads and having you dancing on your feet, All right, a song that's right in the feels music. Okay. For crying out loud, if you were gonna do that, the next thing you know, just add Untitled by Simple Plan in the fucking Dance Dance Revolution Extreme 2 song list. My goodness. <laughs> oh no. Or just add it to Supernova. Oh, man. It's just... It's like, are you kidding me? It's kind of ridiculous. It is what it is. Anyway, um, by the time I'm recording this, there's gonna be a... Something happening to Azure Lane. In terms of gotcha banners. I can't wait for that to happen. And I have been pretty much preparing up ahead for that. So. Yeah, they, they're managing to add in UR units, so. I'm like, oh great, UR units? Yeah, I know, it is what it is, just. The max rare that you're going to get right now is super rare, but when the URs come out, oh yeah, it's going to go wild. I mean, we have Azure Lane Crosswave. Eventually, what's going to end up... Now that we're on the topic of... Because I know we have Azure Lane, and it got its own full game spinoff, being Crosswave. I kind of wonder when will Genshin Impact get its console spinoff that's not a full-fledged, not a gotcha game, something like that. Because we have Azure Lane Crosswave. Some among the lines of what we got for Azure Lane Crosswave. But what if we were to basically just have a brand new game that's like a premium thing. It's not one of those little gotcha games. And then have something for Genshin Impact that's something in the same caliber as Azure Lane Crosswave. You can make it a Warriors game. Y you can make it a Muso genre game. That'd be pretty dope. That'd be pretty dope. I mean, whatever gets players a chance to play as the characters they missed out on, or probably were not lucky enough to roll on when the mainline free-to-play game released. But I think that would have been something. But I like what Azure Lane Crosswave, it, it's like a premium, full-fledged game experience. You get a chance to play as uh, 
all those ships that you were not having good enough luck getting in the gotcha. And that would be dope. And then there's a photo mode for Crosswave. I know there's the same thing, but... For Genshin. But yeah, that would be kind of... Um, that would be a genius idea. Ugh. But I don't think MiHoYo does stuff like that, but I know it is what it is. I know we have Grand Blue Fantasy Relink in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Alright. It is what it is. But hey, I think a uh, Genshin Impact Warriors game, maybe that'll fit it. But the problem here, and here's the thing, uh, we could dream as much as we damn well want, but MiHoYo doesn't do this kind of stuff with their gotcha games. All right, the only thing, the only thing we're gonna be getting is Azure Lane getting Azure Lane Crosswave and Grand Blue Fantasy getting Grand Blue Fantasy Versus and Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. That's the only thing that's happening. It is what it is. But hey. Anyway. Uh, what else can we go ahead and talk about? Hmm. Ah, oh, man. Uh, yeah, I try to... I'm trying to track... I think we already got done with the topic, and then I already segue to the next topic. Uh, so... Also, I'm thinking that... Uh... I'm thinking about this being the chain combo. Nope, not it, Chief. Anyway, let's get right on going. <laughs> it is what it is! I know. Uh, hey, not bad. But anyway, let's get right on going. Uh, gonna try and... Well, maybe. Here we go, and do that. Okay. Um. Hmm. You know what? Here's a situation that I end up in a whole lot. Here's the thing. I try to keep in control of my brain, but guess what? I dealt with, I've been dealing with a lot of shit, especially that has been cursed for a long time. Cursed stuff. Now, there are going to be random thoughts, unwelcome thoughts that pop in my brain. And out of all of that, it's fucking cursed as fuck. And it would happen at the fucking worst time ever. I shit you fucking not. Like, whenever I would just sit there for one goddamn reason, and then all of a sudden I get a cringy-ass thought, two seconds later, I'm all fucking spazzing the fuck out, hoping that I would get that thought out of my goddamn head. Immediately. Like, I got a very cringy-ass shit thought, the thing dawned in my head. Fucking two... Like, I don't know what happened. Like, it was the most cringiest thing that just randomly popped up in my head and I wanted out of my fucking head. And I spazzed the fuck out. 
Because it's so fucking cursed. Alright? It's really fucking cursed. Okay? Like, I gotta worry about my fucking dreams being fucking cursed. Alright? Because my dreams end up in, like, fucking shit endings. Shit-tastic fucking endings. If it's not, I end up in some goddamn fucking weird... Uh, lucid, dreamlike, weird environment. Like... Oh, man. The most strangest dream was when I was walking around the mall. And I was... Like... It was just empty, but it just felt like... It just felt like I was, like, walking around the back rooms... It's kind of fucking weird. It is sort of fucking weird. No, I didn't have a dream where I ended up in the back rooms. I'm pretty sure it's gonna show up in my head. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have that dream one of those days. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Now, I had a dream where I was watching some movie, Attila Battle Angel. Hopefully I said that right. But it, it isn't really. It was like some randomized version. It looked nothing like the, the James Cameron film. It was sort of weird. Oh, I know. Oh! There we go. Added. <laughs> Sorry about it, my timer went out, and I guess after this run, we'll go ahead and end it off. Yep, my timer went up, ended off, so as soon as this uh, run is over, that's where we're gonna have to end it off, but yeah. Dreams... I, I know dreams are not supposed to make any fucking sense. But seriously, um... There's something going on. There, there's something going on. That's all I gotta say. There's something going on. I'm sick and tired. I don't know why I keep getting all those random, cringy-ass thoughts from out of the blue. I don't know. My brain's just... My brain just turns against me. I don't know. It is what it is. But... I just... Whenever I get a fucking thought process, I just spaz the fuck out or something like I have Tourette's. Or something like that. And it's not that I have Tourette's. It's just that I just want this cringe-ass thought out of my head. I want it out of my damn head. And I'm just spazzing the fuck out in terms of, my, in terms of activity and in terms of fucking speech. Because I keep shouting and saying random-ass things. And now my fucking... Sucks. It's fucking annoying. But it is what it is. Ugh. I don't really fucking get it. But my brain cell is just... I don't know. It could be... Uh, I don't know. It's not my brain cells, though. That's my problem. It is what it is. Nah, I'm not trying to end the run on purpose so I can end the video off there. It's just that I just lost track of what I'm doing. You know what? I'll just... I'll do one more run. I'll just do... We'll do one more run. We'll do one more run. That'll... That'll do good. Just do one more run, and that's just gonna be good. Uh, let's see what that does. Okay, it's not gonna be that bad. It's kinda hard to, uh... Oh, hello. Hey, that's a chain combo right there. Perfect. But, yeah. It is what it is. They never... I never get any happy endings in my dream. 
I always play some distorted ass. Or it always ends in some shit ending, or if not, wander around in some distorted ass fuck environment, or just end up in watching a distorted ass for. Okay, the funniest thing, the funniest thing of a dream that I got when I was watching, like, I guess, not the Deathly Hollows, but the one where, um. The one where that one dude from Prisoner of Azkaban got fucking Avada Kedavra. Uh, yeah, there we go. I can't remember that name, but... I remember there was, like, in my dream, there was a scene where there would be a slap fight. How that works is that Harry Potter would say something, and then Malfoy would just come out of the blue, make some remark, and then Harry would just come up to Malfoy, slap the guy, somebody came and slapped the fuck out of fucking... Harry, and then Ron's decided to come in, and then two seconds later, slap fight, and then everybody started slapping the fuck out of each other. Like one of the Dumbledores, the the Lady Dumbledore, decided to, to be like, I don't think uh, I keep I keep mistaking. No, I keep just randomly thinking that Dumbledore and that other lady was like fucking ah whatever but here we go we have that one head over at hogwarts and then she was just making some obscenities then headbutted the fuck then headbutted someone and then there's pinocchio laying on the ground saying that I'm gonna be a real boy. I'm gonna be a real boy. And then he blows up into a thousand pieces and then just blows up in like, like chunks. But the animation's gonna be pretty much similar to the one animation you see when people blow to chunks in like Mortal Kombat 3. Something like that. And I was like, wow, it is what it is. It is just one of the most goofiest and just goofiest dreams that I ever had. Okay, now there's the other dream where there was like a horror movie trailer. And now there was this guy comforting this main heroine. This guy was, like, telling her that, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay, and then someone's, like, at the window, and then two seconds later, she's all screaming. And not only that, she spends the rest of the trailer constantly screaming at the guy. The guy's just sitting there doing nothing. The boyfriend's just staring at the window, dumbfounded. But she, on the other side, just is screaming from left and right screaming she's screaming like the constant throughout the throughout the entire time ah, ah, ah. and the trailer would go on for so long until my dream ends and i wake up and i was like ah, 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 ah. and then i'm like yo um, yeah, I get it. The guy's there. Are we are we doing something else or what? <laughs> I'm like, ah! and this guy's like, yeah, you, shut up! Ah! 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 <laughs> it's like, why does this happen? No, there was a dream that I don't know what happened. I had a dream where. I was walking in some office with my family, and then I woke up falling off my fucking bed because of the dream. Like, holy shit. I'll do another run so I can finish up on that. So, like, I was walking in some office, then I woke the fuck up as I was about to fall off my bed, and I fell off my bed, knocked down that one fan... I was like, ah! And then the next thing you know, someone was like, 
someone just walked in and is like, hey, I borrowed your PS3 and I'm gonna put it back in your room. He didn't say it, it's just that he was like, hey, I borrowed your PS3 and I'll go ahead and uh, uh, put it back in your room. Where do you want me to put this? And I was like, on the fucking ground, I fell out of my fucking bed. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, not really. It, not really. I was just sitting right here, just put it in there. The guy did not even notice how I fell to the fucking ground. And I fell out of my bed. It's fucking ridiculous. I'm like, are you kidding me? And it is what it is, man. My life sucks. So like, oh, here's the trippiest shit. I had a dream where I woke up. I woke up in the morning, did my thing, something happened, and then I thought I woke up. Except I didn't wake up. Now, when I actually woke up, here it is. My dad. Just standing there. It just turned out that my dad came over. Because, you know, parents divorce and we live in separate houses. It's like, for crying out loud. It was a weird, awkward moment. I woke up. I was like... No, mom woke me up. My mom woke my ass up. It was like... And then all of a sudden... Oh! There's my dad. And I'm like... Uh... What the fuck? And this was getting kind of weird. Like, I, I deal with shit getting weird on a basis, but... Shit getting weird on a basis, I don't know what to tell you. It is what it is. But, it's just ridiculous. <sighs> it's just awkward. It was a very awkward ass fucking moment. It is what it is, though. What the fuck did I just do that? That shit. Oh my goodness. Nah. Sucks, man. Sucks. Had a dream where I was, like, downloading far Because there was a promotional deal going on where people were, like, offering, like, free copies of playing Far Cry for free. Oh, yeah, here's a free full version of Far Cry, because there was some thing going on, thanks to some uh, sponsor by a mobile company or something. Or some internet service provider. So, what happened was is that there was a thing where they offered, oh, a free full version of The Suffering, a free full version of Far Cry. Now I was like having a dream where I was like playing the full version of Far Cry because I wanted to download Far Cry and, hey, it's a free game and it's not, and it's nothing like you're pirating it, it's like a free thing given and it's courtesy of some sponsorship. And then I had a dream where I was playing Far Cry, and then two seconds later... Yeah, here we go, booting it up, Far Cry! And then some guy, straight up from out of nowhere, would be like, Hey, I'm gonna eat ya. I'm gonna eat ya. Oh, nom 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 nom. I'm gonna eat ya. I'm gonna eat ya. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> like, for fuck's sake. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Oh, man. No, I had a dream where I was predicting, like, someone's hot takes. 
and I was about to, where I was predicting, where I was basically pretending that somebody made some dumbass hot takes. And I was like, and I said the most ridiculous shit playing the other guy. And then I was like, the very minute what was said, when I was playing as the other guy, I would then be as me, like slowly turning my head to the left and be like, are you fucking stupid? You have to be that fucking stupid. It is what it is. I know I said one more run, but it is what it is, man. I was like, at it, I was like, nah, hell no, get the fuck out of here, man. The fuck out of here with that bullshit. And I'm like, yo, fuck no. God dang. It is what it is, but anyway, um. Uh, it is what it is. Quality burp. But anyway, I guess after this run we'll end shit off there. It is what it is. <coughs> Sorry. But anyway, I need a drink. Because my, my throat is getting fucking dry as fuck. And... Ah, good. <clears throat> my goodness. Um, okay, my throat is still dry, but hey, I'll work with it. It is what it is. It's almost like if all of a sudden I got like a got like a sore throat. It sucks, man. Um, no, I don't have like. Ooh. Okay, never mind. I don't want to get into that detail. Uh. I'm, I already ended up in a very awkward situation over February, and I don't want to wind up in any out of nowhere awkward. Uh, yeah, I don't. I think it's best if I. <laughs> yeah, it was an awkward feeling thing. Uh, just never mind what I just said though. So let's get right on going and. Um... Just, uh, pretend everything went normal. Okay. So. Oh, yes, I did test on some food hack. Okay, now, there is a common food hack going around here. Even when it's not directly said, it's been basically, like, implied. Now, this, this little food hack was basically brought to light when it came to Ponyo. And I was like, okay, I'm debunking this motherfucker. This shit is bullshit. So here's what happened. Now, when it comes to those cup ramens, okay, you just pour boiling water, cover, and you're good. However, will that shit even translate for, shall we say, stovetop ramen. And this is what the fucking Ponyo movie was damn well implying. So here's what happened. I tested it out for myself. I grabbed a ramen packet. I did it. I did it with boiling water. I poured it. I poured the raw ramen noodles into the bowl, the empty bowl. I pour into it, and I was like, okay, give it three minutes. Alright, time passed, and, um, what a crock of shit. What a fucking myth. Talk about a fucking myth, man. Now, to be fair, it could be a different brand of ramen. Alright, could be a different brand of ramen, but still... What fucking bullshit. Oh yeah, somebody made like a little prank video. Where I was like, hey, did you know that you could cook rice in a air fryer? And then this guy admits, oh, it did nothing. I just wasted your time. I just wanted to prank your ass. 
And I'm like, are you kidding me? No, I wasn't like, not just kidding. I actually was like, bullshit, entertain me. Nah, I was just fucking with you. Oh, <laughs> it was a good prank though. Uh, I gotta admit it. It was a good prank. It's a good prank anyway. It was a good prank. There you go. Oh, there we go. I think we died. I don't think you don't die. You just get a game over. But hey, uh, I got rank five. So how good was I doing? Uh, WNK. Um, yeah, maybe if I started to. Uh... Oh, well, well, you know what? I don't know how high I scored. It's not a score run video. But anyway, uh, that totally said, if you like what you see, we'll be coming out with more gameplay videos. Now, we do both chill and hectic gameplay videos, so be on the lookout about that. Also, uh, we will talk about more video game classics and more modern games, and of course, we got a waifu event upcoming. Oh yeah, there's Easter coming up. Now that, yeah, now that we're on the topic of Easter, better start going in here and finding something. So yeah. And, of course, uh, we'll see cooking videos. It's just a pain in the ass for me to get a hold of stuff to do cooking videos. It's a matter of getting stuff to make, but it is what it is. Um, but, hey, there's content up and coming. I make sure that there will be content up and coming. Expect videos every Wednesday and Friday. All right. Monday videos are probably going to be more of a surprise, though. So anyway, with that said, that is all, and I will be looking forward to you in the next video. Peace out. This, this is, is nothing, nothing but a but video, video product, product made, made by, by a, a fellow, fellow gamer, gamer man. man. Ayo! Hey,